T-minus 90 seconds and counting. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In 1977, two probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, were launched into the heavens aboard a Titan Centaur rocket on a five-year mission to explore Saturn and Jupiter and their moons. This was to be known as the Voyager program. As it turtled into space at 35,000 km per hour, it was the first spacecraft to take a picture of the Earth and the Moon in a single frame. Two years after launched, as it approached Jupiter, pictures of the planet marveled humanity. The images of the brightly banded planet exceeded the very best taken from Earth. The great red spot, more than twice the size of the Earth, was revealed to be a complex spinning storm. As it orbited Jupiter, Plumes from the volcanoes of Jupiter's moon Io extended to more than 300 kilometers above the surface. It was the first time that active volcanoes had been seen on another body in the solar system. A year later, Voyager arrived at Saturn. Immediately, it began to study the planet and its moons. The brilliant white icy surface of Enceladus was captured on film, composed nearly entirely of water. In 1986, after completing its primary mission, and with all instruments operating perfectly, NASA gave the go-ahead for Voyager 2 to explore Uranus. Voyager 2 would be the Earth's first visitor to Uranus. At the time, little was known about the planet, except that it was the fourth largest world in the solar system. Two years later, it arrived at Neptune, the first spacecraft to ever do so. On Valentine's Day 1990, under the instruction of Carl Sagan, Voyager 1 was rotated back to take a family portrait of the planets. One of these photos was to be named the pale blue dot, the Earth, 
from 6 billion kilometers. Both voyages carried a small metal plaque and a gold-plated copper disc identifying their place of origin for any other intelligent life that might one day find them in the distant future. The Voyager message contained sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on planet Earth. The Voyagers will live on when much about humanity has all but disappeared. As the Secretary General of the United Nations, an organization of 147 member states who represent almost all of the human inhabitants of the planet Earth, I send greetings on behalf of the people of our planet. We step out of our solar system into the universe seeking only peace and friendship to teach if we are called upon, to be taught if we are fortunate. We know full well that our planet and all its inhabitants are but a small part of this immense universe that surrounds us and it is with humility and hope that we take this step.